big change. Um, now we're going again to this very um, beautiful sign. Time to get back to work, back to school. It's all over the shops. You know, get a grip, get back to work. Now, in the terms of the farming year, Virgo is an incredibly anxious time. It's a very time of enormous hard work. Um, the, the barley, the oats, the wheat and the hops all have to be brought in, they all have to be harvested. And there's work going on in the fields from um, light till nightfall, um, cutting, carrying, making hay ricks, um, and uh, working all night at the harvest moon, which we get at Virgo time. A very critical time of the year because of the weather. And the, the critical thing is that everything is brought in before it gets ruined by um, by getting by the rain. So it's got to, everything's got to be cut and dried. Um, and uh, you have to sort the wheat from the chaff. So how Virgo is that? You know, it's like um, it's a brilliant, hard working, skillful um, amount of energy needed. So gathering in, sorting, selecting um, the crops, casting out which, that which won't be needed, time of discrimination, skill and hard work. Um, and it must be completed by the autumn equinox before Michaelmas. Um, so, uh, and then um, and then basically at the end of Virgo time, so here, here we've got, um, the, because this is um, in the Anjou wine region, this particular um, picture, the, it's the grape harvest. So hard work, and it's it's important, it doesn't spoil. You need it for weather to be dry. Um, also then, the fruits of the earth come at the end, the second harvest, um, uh, the, the apples for cider making, beer from the hops, um, all of that then um, takes place in Libra time. So um, roasting chestnuts, gathering conkers, um, gathering wood for winter, and um, all, of, all of those have to depend upon the harvest that's been done beforehand. Uh, Libra and the Harvest Festival. Um, <clears throat> jam and chutney making, getting your wool together that was uh, sheared at Aries time for the winter knitting and so on. And um, uh, 29th of uh, September is, to, is the Feast of St. Michael, it's St. Michaelmas. And um, uh, that is, is a very important season, not only is it around the Harvest Festival, um, but it's again a time for people to gather. And um, again, again, fairs, and it's a time to pay off your debts. So we've got Libra here, settle the accounts for the year. Uh, it's a time traditionally to elect magistrates, and it's the beginning of the legal and the university terms. So very Libra, I think, Michaelmas term the first term of the academic year. Um, so settling debts, starting back at education. And um, I absolutely love this picture of um, St. Michael because he is symbolically the protector against the dark of the night and the administrator of cosmic intelligence, um, balance, harmony, which I think is very Libran. And, here in his hands, he holds a scale and a sword, which is very like our symbol of justice. Um, and here on the right, he's trying to hold back the winter. I, I was defeating the, the devil, but you know, using uh, the light of consciousness. But of course, inevitably, the time will come where he is, uh, you know, the darkness begins to take over. And Scorpio is a fascinating time, I think, because that's when um, the cattle were brought in from the, uh, from the pasture for the winter. There's not enough food um, for all the animals during the winter, so uh, several of them are slaughtered, um, and the meat is salted or smoked um, for consumption during the winter. So um, there has to be a killing, there has to be a, um, a culling, so that the few... Uh, the death of the few uh, ensure the survival of the whole. And funny enough, on the farm where I work, um, sort of community farm, and I volunteer, I, because I have a, a tow bar on my car, 
um, they asked me if I would take the sheep to the slaughterhouse. On the, and it happened to be the 1st of November. And um, so I did, which was interesting. <laughs> um, and that same day, the rams arrived to tuck the ewes for next year. So I know the relationship between sex and death. <laughs> and it, I'm the sign of Scorpio <laughs> from my own experience. Um, and this is, this is happening. So thinking in terms of Scorpio and the necessary purging of anything that won't survive the winter, it's important. Um, and of course, then we go into Samhain, which is the festival of the dead. And so um, this is a time, again, of um, uh, the veil between the worlds. So it's about contacting the other worlds and um, time to remember the dead and the ancestors. You know, we, it's important to have that. And it's time, Halloween, it's time to take revenge on everyone who's done you badly so that you can clear the ground for um, the new season. So that um, everything, all the old emotional um, uh, resentments can be purged, burned away, even to the extent of burning of effigies. And uh, so that there can be a rebirth. And to remember always that everything ends in death before it can be reborn again. Right. Uh, back. I know, I'm just also going to, you know, it's some time to remember the all saints, all souls, um, uh, and um, I think that, um, I mean, that's really the end of the, the, the cyclical year, and um, I think we're so fortunate to have this connection, and um, it extends, of course, to our, our practical magic, it extends. I'm just going to finish in a minute, so, um, but it does extend to us living consciously with the phases of the moon. We can do that as well. We can wait until a new moon before we start a venture. We can, we can have a party on the full moon, knowing that we're, we're going with the changes, with the seasons. We're, um, we're watching constantly as everything is turning around and becoming a part of this great rhythm, natural, organic rhythm. Um, and the same, I don't know how many of you actually live by the planetary days of the week, but we have that template. We can actually wait. If we've got something we need to do, we can wait till Tuesday, and then we can evoke Mars to help us. We're, we're so embedded in, the, in, this, in, this, um, in these wonderful models, and practical magic involves using them and engaging with them and entering into a dialogue with them and, um, uh, and living magically in that way. So we have, we have the signs and we have the lunar phases and we have the days of the week which are all there for us to um, engage with, with, the, with the world around. And just literally to finish on, I wanted to say something. I'm very, I've got a thought that I wanted to just throw out, which is about um, the neuroplasticity and um, this idea that our brains now, because it used to be thought that our brains were hardwired, and now with the neuroplasticity there's this recognition and many studies showing that the brain goes on making connections right up until old age. And um, they're constantly, the connections um, in the brain are constantly being removed or recreated, dependent upon how they are used. And um, I think that I, what I'm interested in is that um, neuroscientists, I'm just reading this because it's technical, have discovered new connections between the brain's neurons and improvements in memory can be stimulated by picking up difficult and challenging new skills such as unfamiliar languages, um, such as astrology. <laughs> so um, many studies are now beginning to show that learning a demanding new language can protect against memory problems. And the components which are needed for the um, creation of these new brain connections and the continuation of, of the generation of memory, the components are an interest in the subject motivation, and even competition. These things are critical. 
um, and the attention must be trained and focused and the end result desired. Um, so I'm just thinking how lucky we are to have a template which will always challenge us and actually our particular model that we're looking at is, is actually a pattern, is a cosmic pattern. So isn't that amazingly helpful as, a, as an idea that we're actually, because we're contemplating the, the zodiac, the heavens, and this incredible ancient map all the time, perhaps that's incredibly good for our mental health. We know it's good for our souls and spirits, but actually maybe it really is practical magic. Thank you.